evening guys, um, I'm not going to lie to you, it's currently quarter to one in the morning, um, so I just thought I'd come on and obviously film a video of Vlogmas, and I watched a Christmas film today with like my mum, um, and at the end of it, we cried, um, and I thought Christmas films were meant to be happy. Not make you cry. Apart from Jack Frost, that is just incredibly sad. Like, so this is not the second time. Not, not the first time I've cried at a Christmas film. This is a second time I've cried this year. This year, within the past week, you know, definitely the last week, I've cried at a Christmas film. Why? How? How does that work? I thought Christmas films are meant to be happy and jolly and probably make you feel in a Christmas mood and not make you cry. But don't get me wrong, like, Christmas films are just so good and I love them and I like it gets you in such a Christmassy mood and. But they're all the same. Like, where's the little twist in them? Like, oh. Boy meets girl, and girl falls in love with boy, and boy falls in love with girls, but they can't be together, and one of them ends up running away, and then they end up finding their way back to each other, and they fall in love, yada, 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 like, every single Christmas film is pretty much the same. Not all of them, but, like, most of, like, the romantic Christmas films aren't the same. And you're like... Why? Why are they not all different? And like, don't get me wrong. Like, I watch Novella, um, on Disney Plus. Absolutely recommend you watch it. It's fantastic. Like, absolutely good film. Like, amazing. Loved it. Um, but the bit what I was a bit confused about, but not confused about, was it's not the stereotypical Christmas film. Which is absolutely so good, and I cried that one. Oh, I, I did watch it on the Monday, so you know, good mental health and all that stuff on Monday watching a Christmas film. Yeah, I was gonna cry, and obviously, like today, I watched a Christmas film, and I mean, my mum started talking about like the old days, like with my nan and my granddad, and like our Christmas Eve routine, and like. This is the first time in a long time that me and my mum sat down and spoke and got emotional over my, my nan and granddad. And it's just like, emotions are just a weird one. And obviously... I wanted to document this because I need a vlog to go up tomorrow and I think looking back at it, it's just like a good reminder that no matter how long like your loved ones have been passed on for, it can still affect you. Like what my nan's been gone six, seven years, my grand has been gone four, no it must have been later than that. So my, my nan must have been gone, what, seven, eight years, and my grandma was gone four years. It's gone so quick. Um, and it's just like, obviously, it's just affects you, like, in different ways. And, like, we just sit there, and I feel like, Especially at Christmas, um, you need to, like, spend time with your family and, like, proper enjoy it. And especially after this year, um, now's, like, the best time to sit down with family and actually have, like, a good, not conversation, but, like, just enjoy it. And I feel like after this year... We've learned not to take things for granted and 
because we all know how quickly lives can be thrown upside down like especially going from this like the week in march when we all got put on lockdown this is for the uk uh, uk reference um on lockdown when we went from having it was everything was open and being normal with a couple of cases to literally everything shut down and it's just like made people realize not everyone there's obviously people out there who don't listen to the government and um like think the health vaccines like a microchip and everything like that but that's not i'm not going to get into that on my channel if i'm being completely honest because i just not i don't want my channel to be political and start talking about all that um so i feel like just talk about things don't let it all build up if you want to cry cry like what you've got like, what have you got to lose at the end of the day we're all human and if you want to cry you go cry if you want to laugh you go laugh it's Christmas, we've had such a bad year, go and enjoy it, go and let your hair down, and like COVID safe as you can, go let your hair down, what have you got to lose, nothing, you've got nothing to lose, like, just as long as you're being safe and you're following guidelines, let's go see out the new year, like, in style, because obviously we've had such a bad year and like we should just have fun and I'm not going to be optimistic and say looking forward in 2021 because I'll do that, I'll, I'll do another separate video on that because I'll look to what like I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Which everything I'm looking forward to has been like sort of cancelled because I'm like the country's not going to fix itself within yeah and no matter how much people think like we're not we're going to be in this now for at least next year and that's what I think this is my own personal opinion so if you have your own opinions please comment down below but please do not hate on me for my opinion on what I feel like 2021 will be like. So, yeah, I'm going to round this off here because I don't want it to be too long and something so small about, like, emotions and Christmas films have just turned into, like, a good seven, eight-minute clip of me just talking about random stuff. Welcome to my vlog channel. So if you enjoy this crazy random content, please like like below, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, comment down below if you've got any um, YouTube video suggestions. I'm going to film my morning routine and my nighttime routine. Um, I'm going to do like a Q&A for like life in halls and uni halls and when I go back to uni on Monday, I'm going to sit down and start catching up and film some videos in advance so I can post them all on so they're all ready and I don't need to stress. Um, so what's to me? For me, it's currently Friday, Friday. It'll be Saturday for you. So I think tomorrow morning I'm going to film. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to film my morning routine and then tomorrow night I might film a nighttime routine and have them two up and then on monday i'll probably from knife in homes and um, i might i might do a vlog on monday that'd be free for tuesday because i'm going back to halls and um, so it'll be fun, quite fun to film me going back to halls um and i'll yeah we'll just see how it plans out like just subscribe down below i hope you enjoyed yesterday's vlog so it wasn't a lot um i can't remember what i filmed what did I film yesterday? I can't remember. 
and um, right so guys i will speak to you later i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you later good night